Hey guys, in today's video, I'd like to give you a tour of my apartment. What does $6,000 a month get you here in Shanghai or $840 per month? And I'm located here in Pudong District, not far from Century Avenue, not far from Century Park, and not far from the immigration or visa office. So I'm in an older building and prices vary. Uh, depending on if you're in a newer building or an older building. Um, if I were to live in a newer building nearby my current apartment, I'd probably pay double than what I'm paying now um, based on the location where I'm at. There's malls nearby, there's uh, supermarkets. I, I live nearby uh, work, so it's pretty convenient for me. I like it, I'm pretty comfortable here. Exterior is not the greatest, the interior is pretty good. So. Give me a like, subscribe, enjoy the tour, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, let me give you the grand tour. We're gonna start in the living room and then we're gonna go from room to room, checking it out. So I'm gonna start with my living room again. And yeah, I've got plenty of storage here near the entrance. I bought this rug on Taobao that I kind of cut out the uh, corners right there so that I can actually fit it into the uh, door entrance. Um, sliding door into the kitchen. Uh, fridge uh microwave oven you know i got my dining room table uh this is mine but on top all really good quality um i got two windows here if you open up one there's another one on the other side to block out some of the noise uh the original windows are weren't that great so the landlord installed a second set of windows uh aircon really nice mitsubishi um kind of a root beer fanatic you know from the states got a collection of books some dvds here uh dyson got some coke and I, the coke bottles down there uh here's my xiaomi 65 inch tv and uh got a few portable fans down there i got my um android tv box of course coffee table Sofa looks nice. It's not the greatest sofa. It's not that comfortable. I can sit on it for a while, but then you, you kind of get back pain after a while. So you kind of do a lot more laying down. Over there in the corner, I got this uh, stand light so I can turn on. I can turn different colors and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, overall, the apartment's not bad for 6000 uh near Minchung Road, uh, two stations away from Century Avenue. We're going to head over to the... Uh, bedroom now where the magic happens and yeah uh my co-worker uh who i work with friend from work he moved out because he bought a house here and he actually left the apartment uh for me with some things inside of it and i end up taking over the uh what do you call it the lease for this place um again another mitsubishi uh air con up there uh plenty of storage in here um Got a few Super Nintendo games and some 64 and portable projectors and stuff like that. Plenty of storage, like I said, as well as up top. Uh, a balcony uh, area. Not a true balcony, but... Anyways, yeah, so I got some storage here. I'm actually going to be moving out in about two months. Uh, I'm changing jobs next month, and the job's a bit far, but... My next payment to this place is due in October, so I'm going to move out before then and let the landlord uh, return my deposit. Got some DVDs in here. Pretty cool. Uh, this is an older community. Not the greatest com uh, community because there's just so much work going on on the streets right now. Uh, I'll give you a tour of the streets later. Again, more storage. Uh... I usually use this for teaching and stuff like that. Um, let's go into the uh, kitchen and the uh, bathroom. So the bathroom is actually next to the kitchen. Um, pretty common in China. Uh, I bought this on top. It's kind of like an extra storage rack for different things like that. Um, plenty of storage on top. Plenty of storage on the bottom. Uh, George Foreman Grill. Rice cooker, of course, gas, my coffee maker, drying rack, um, head into the bathroom. So yeah, I got the uh, bathroom here, uh, medicine cabinet, so those open up, 
pretty good overall. Shower. So yeah, it's not bad, right? For 6,000 a month. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy here. It's just that changing jobs, I'm gonna have to uh, move because it, it'd take me about over an hour each way on the subway and I just ain't willing to do that. I even have a car and I'm just not willing to drive that far every day um, near Baoshan district. So, but yeah, overall 6,000 is not bad. Uh, if you live in one of the newer communities and there's a few across the street from where I'm at, you're going to pay about 12,000 a month. It's, the price will double, but again, you got an elevator. I don't have an elevator here. I basically got stairs. Uh, some of the downsides to being in a older community is like I said, there's no elevator. Um, there's a lot, it's a lot more elderly people, which ain't bad because it's pretty quiet, but it's not a lot of younger people. Uh, there are families, there are children, as, of course. But uh, I'd say also if you have a car or if, you, if you're just looking for better, you know, movement through the community, uh, again, it's a lot more narrow. It's a lot smaller. Right now, they're doing a lot of uh, construction. They're redoing all the piping underneath a lot of buildings here in Pudong. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, just want to give you guys a tour of what 6,000 would get you. I don't know the square meter. I've never asked or measured it. But it is a pretty good size for what you, can, what you see in the camera. Uh, what else can I say about this place? Uh, malls nearby uh there's a, a mall called lcm which is just down the down the road actually family mart the visa office or immigration is just a 10 minute walk from here as you know the visa office is on 1500 ming Chung road and i'm just a 10 minute walk from there um i do quite a bit of cooking i like cooking quite a bit uh yeah overall uh Please give me a like, subscribe, comment below, and do you live in Shanghai? Are you interested in coming to Shanghai? How much do you pay for rent? And which area do you currently live in? And how much is the rent there? So I'll see you guys in the next video, and take care. Mm -hmm.